Hello friends, today we will be doing a sample paper for International Mathematics Assessment for Schools, which is an IMAS exam, which happens in Indonesia. So that's why we have the questions in two languages, English and Indonesia, uh, Bahasa Indonesia, but we would be reading the English part of it. Uh, so we'll be doing the 10 MCQ questions, which are there. Uh, let's read the question. Five identical pencils are positioned on the table as shown below. Which two pencils are lying on the same plane? Same plane mean on the same surface. So let's just see the options. Let's start with C and E. So if you see C is here, let's name this as level zero. Okay. And E is on level zero and C is going from level zero to say one or probably two here because it's on D. But E is on level zero and C is going up. So this is not my answer. Similarly, C and D are on different levels because D also starts with 0 and it's going up and C is on D. And it's not my answer. Similarly, B is on E, not my answer. Now, B and C and B and D. Now, if you see B and C, they start with level 0 and it goes up to 1. But in case of C, C is on D. So, this is on level 1 and say this is on level 2. So, C is going from 0 to 2 and B is going from 0 to 1. So, this is not my answer. If you see B and C, or B and D, so if you see B is going from 0 to 1 and D is also going from 0 to 1, so my answer is B for question 1. Let's read question number 2. Five children write on a seesaw. The diagrams below are images showing the weight comparisons between the two different persons. Who has the heaviest weight? Now if we see here, let's again check the options. They are saying A is heavier than B. So B cannot be the heaviest. A is your heavier. And then B is heavier than D. So again, D is not heavier. Okay. Then they are saying E is heavier than A. So A is also not the answer. Now you have C and E. Now in this question, it's a little tricky because they are saying C and E are almost equal. And in this case, E is also heavier than D. So E is the heaviest. But the answer sheet that has come, it's saying C as the heaviest. But according to me, it could be both E or C because they are equal. Let's move on. Question number three. Tom and Tim play a badminton match. The first player to reach 21 points wins the game. And the first player to win two games wins the match. If Tom wins the first and the third game so he won first game and the third game and he gets a total of 60 points for the whole match what score did Tom get in the second game so if he has won the first game he needs to have 21 points to win similarly he won the third game he needs 21 points to win so if we do 21 plus 21 we get a 42 so we do 60 minus 42 so we'll get 18 so he scored 18 points in the second game so my answer is option D. Let's read question number four. Which of the following is closest to 20, 21 kg? We have options A, B, C, D, and E. It's only a calculation thing. So we do 1013 into two cars, which is two cars, and the weight of each car is this. So my answer is 2026 kgs. Then 21 motorcycles, and the weight of each motorcycle is 101. We do 21 into 101. Uh, then we get 2121 kgs. And 155 bicycles and the weight of each bicycle is 13 kgs. So we do 155 times 13. So I get 2015 kg. And then 61 desk and the weight of each desk is 33 kgs. So we multiply that. So we get 213 kg and then 44 refrigerators and the weight of each is 46. So we get 2024 kgs. Now these are the weights. Now they're saying which one is closest to 2021. So we subtract 2021. So there we get a 5 kg. Here we do. So we get 100. Here we're just taking absolute amount. So we get a 6. We get an 8. And we get a 3. This one is the closest, hence my answer is option E.
let's read question number five. If star be a positive integer such that star minus two and star plus two is twenty twenty one, what is the value of the star? Now, once we have that, let's go with the option. Suppose the star, the value of the star is forty two. So if we do forty two minus two, I get a forty. Okay, times if I do forty two plus two, I get a forty four. Right now, if we see zero into, we just take the ones place and the ones place. So zero into four is zero. So the digit at the ones place will be a zero. So, but we need a one. So this is not my answer. Similarly, if we do forty three. Similarly, if we do forty three minus two. And then this will be forty three plus two. Then I get a forty one into forty five. So again, one into five will give me a five and not one. So this is not my answer. Similarly, if we do forty four minus two and forty four plus two, so I get a forty two into forty six. Again, six times two will give me a two at one's place. So this is not my answer. Then we try for forty five minus two. And forty-five plus two, so I get a forty-three into forty-seven. So that will be three times seven is one. So we can try this. So when we multiply forty-three into forty-seven, I get two zero two one. So my answer is option D. Let's read question number six. Let me just clear this. Let's read question number six. What is the value of this this whole series? Uh, so we have to find the value. Now, if you see this series, if you term it like this, twenty twenty one minus twenty twenty is one. Nineteen minus eighteen. Twenty nineteen minus eighteen is one. So it goes on till here. One does not have a partner to subtract. So if we see how many terms do we have, we have twenty twenty one, but we don't have this one. So number of terms is twenty twenty. Since we are making a set of two, we divide it by two. So I get one zero one zero. So this is the summation of this series one zero one zero. And you have this one left alone. So you add it. So my answer is one zero one one. That is option C. Let's read question number seven. Josh has three dogs, namely Jack, Sparrow, and Tom, where each of them have a different weight. If Jack and Sparrow weighs twenty, weighs twelve kg, so Jack and Sparrow weighs twelve kg. Sparrow and Tom weigh sixteen kgs, and Tom and Jack together weigh fourteen kgs. Together, what is the total weight of all the three dogs? So this is the uh, equation, or these are the information that we have. We add them up, we get a forty-two. So if you see, all these values are coming two times. So basically, two into the Sum of total weight of Jack plus Sparrow plus Tom will give me a forty-two. So this is two into forty-two. So two into what will give me a forty-two? So forty-two divides by two is twenty-one. So the weight of all the three dogs together is twenty-one kg. So my answer is option A. Question number eight: A certain year in the twenty-first century is a perfect square number. Which year is it? Okay, so you have to look for a perfect square. Now, just by observation, you will see this. Um, uh, or we can find factors for these numbers. One nine three six. Suppose we find factors. We do nine is eighteen, six are twelve. Then we go again. So I get four, eight, and four. Then we go again. Two, four, two. Then I get a one. One to one, then one to one is a square of. So this is eleven times eleven. So we know that uh, this is a forty-four square. Similarly, if we do it, uh, then this is not a square. This is a forty-five square, and. Uh, 
if we do this, then this is a 46 square, 46 times 46. But here the question says a certain year in the 21st century. So 21st century starts from year 2000 to year 2099. So we need to find a year which falls within this. So A does not fall. Similarly, D does not fall. So the answer will be C. So my answer here, this is a perfect square. Even though A and B are also perfect squares, we need to look for a number which falls within these years. So my answer is C. Question number nine. Peter keeps all of his socks in a messy, non-transparent drawer under his bed. He has eight black socks and six white socks. He takes the socks out from the box one sock at a time. How many attempts does he need to make sure that he gets two socks of the same color? So let's say in the first attempt, he gets a black sock. Okay. And in the second attempt, we take the worst case situation. He gets a white sock. So you have two different color socks. So in the third attempt, he will get either a black or a white. Suppose he gets a black one. Then he gets two socks of the same color. Or in that case, if he gets a white sock, then again he gets two socks of the same color. So he needs to make a minimum of three attempts to be absolutely sure that he gets two socks of the same color. So my answer is option B. Question number 10. The puzzle shown in the diagram below has one rule. Always follow the direction of the arrows. These are the directions of the arrows. How many routes from in to out adhere to this route? Adhere means follows to this route. Adhere means to which follows the above route. Whenever we are doing this question, what we can do is we can name these routes. Let's name this as 1, like 2, 3. This one is 4. Let's say 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, and 12. These are your crossroads. Now what we can do is he will start with, uh, let's start with 1. So how can I go? I can go 1 to 2, then to 3, then to 4. Correct? This, this is how the arrows are going. I could also do 1 to 2, and I could go to 8, then to 9, then to 3, and then to 4. Or I could do 1 to 2, then to 8, then to 9, then to 10 and to 4. Or I could go 1 to 7, then 8, then 9, then 10, then 4. Or I could go 1 to 7, then 8, then 9, and then I can go 3, 2, 4. Correct? So these are 5 roots which are possible if I divide this into half. So the upper half, 5 roots are possible. Similarly, if I go, I can go like this. One of uh, the same number, uh, same combinations, but these different letters. So I can do 5 times 2, which is 10. So there are 10 different kind of roots possible. So my answer is option E. So this brings to an end to these sample questions. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.